boys and girls, welcome to Miss Etta's Academic Corner. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, welcome, boys and girls. This is Judah Sr. and Judah Jr. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me now? <laughs> hey there, guys. Great for you to join us again today. And we want to say a shout out to Kenya. Bree, Connor, we thank you for joining us on a regular basis. And what are we going to do today, guys? We're going to read a book called The Wide Mouth Frog. Yes. Have a seat. Get comfortable. You sit over here. That's right. Don't fall asleep now. Don't get too comfortable. Y'all stay right there. And we're going to read a book today called the Wide Mouth Frog. Woo! Wow. This is for our younger readers, and some of our older ones might like this too. What does that tell us? It's a hardback book. Get comfortable. If you have on your glasses, make sure you clean them. Take a soft cloth. Don't use toilet paper or tissue because it scratches the lenses. It's really little, little, little scratches, but after time, you'll see them. Also, if you have anything to drink, push it aside. You don't want to waste it on your device, rather it's your phone, your TV, your iPad, your laptop, whatever you're watching us on. So this is a book called The Wide Mouth Frog, and it's one of our pop-up books. It's by Keith Faulkner and illustrated by Jonathan Lambert. Now, remember, the illustrator is the what? Say it again. Yes. The illustrator is the person that draws the pictures in the book. All animals have their favorite foods, flies, worms, and berries. And the wide mouth frog couldn't be more curious about what they are. This talkative frog with a huge mouth just can't stop asking the creatures he encounters what they like to eat. That is until he stumbles upon a creature who just loves to eat wide mouth frogs. Ooh. We're going to giggle. We're going to have fun. Let's open this book. But before we do, what colors do you see? Yep, you see sky blue. We see light blue. We see yellow. We see black. And of course, we see different shades of green. So some frogs, a lot of frogs are green. And they have eyes like on the side of their heads, right? So, this is how the book looks when we open it. The Wide Mouth Frog. Ooh, remember I said it's a pop-up book. So when we open it, ooh, what do you see? I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies said the wide mouth frog, shooting out his long, sticky tongue. So his tongue came out when we opened this page, right? What's going to happen on the next page? Ooh. As he hopped along, he met a blue feathered bird. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, bird? I eat wiggly, wigg, wiggly worms and slugs, replied the bird, snapping his pointy beak. So you see that yellow thing sticking out off the page? That's the beak of the blue bird. The blue feathered bird. So we see the frog, we see the blue feathered bird, and we see what looks like a bee over here in the corner. Let's look at the next page. Oh, what's going to pop out? Oh, oh, oh. Bam. What is that? Next, the wide mouth frog met a furry brown mouse. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, mouse? I eat crunchy seeds and juicy berries, replied the mouse. R wriggling her whiskers. Mm, okay. 
we see the B up there in the corner again. So the next page is going to pop out at us again. What's, what's going to happen? Wow. Look at that. What is that a picture of? Woo. See it on the side? That's what's sticking out. The wide mouth frog was still catching flies when he saw a big green alligator. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, alligator? I eat delicious wide mouth frogs, replied the alligator, showing his sharp white teeth. So the alligator is telling the wide mouth frog that he eats wide mouth frogs. Uh-oh, what's going to happen next? The wide mouth frog stopped catching flies and gulped. Then he puckered his lips and made his mouth as small as possible. Ooh. You don't see many of them around, do you? He said. And he leaped into the pond with a... Can you guess the next word? That's it. With a splash. So he no longer said he was the white mouth, wide mouth frog. He made his mouth real small. And he leaped into the pond with a splash. He had to get away from the alligator. Wow, we, wow. So that was a fun little short story, boys and girls. And again, what was the name of this? The Wide Mouth Frog. And he went and asked all the different creatures what they ate until he met the what? Alligator, that's right. And once he saw the alligator and the alligator said he eats wide mouth frogs, what did the frog do? He made his mouth small and he leaped into the pond and made a splash. Thanks for joining us. When you finish reading the book, boys and girls, it's important to try to remember what you read. See you next time. Mm -hmm.